Yo, what is up everyone? Talo here. I hope y'all doing good today. I hope uh, life's good. Um, I wanted to discuss something. I wanted to discuss something for a while now. And as the title says, is why Monster Hunter World became so popular. Well, uh, I shit you not. Uh, the answer to that is gonna both surprise you as well as you're gonna be like, well, that makes sense, and uh, it's kind of obvious, to be fair. Uh, what I mean by that is, I think Monster Hunter World became so popular for several different reasons that combined to one. Uh, with that being said, one of the reasons why I think Monster Hunter has become so popular is, first of all, there's monsters in it, right? There's monsters in it, most of the monsters are pretty fucking dope, they look cool as fuck, they are so fun to fight versus, and um, at the end of the day, it's not every day that you can get into a game and just beat the shit out of a T-Rex with a great sword, right? So, I mean, let's be real, that that's that's probably one of the main reasons. Um, but no, like, for, for all, like, for real, for serious, being serious now, um, I do think um, Monster Hunter World, especially, has made very, very good decision making in terms of uh, not only monster design, but how do they, like, interact with the environment around them? How do we, do they interact with each other? How do they interact with the hunters? And all of this combined creates a certain of emotion uh, in the player that it just immerses you in the game. You know, you you get you get immersed. You you get you get um, you get into the game yourself. Like it all, it, it's all so well aligned in general that there isn't like a like a design issue that you look at a monster and go like. Well, this monster doesn't make any sense. Or this monster doesn't make any sense in this environment. Or this part of the story doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, there, there is not a part of the game where you would have a thought like that. On the contrary, you actually, like every single fucking monster, you think it makes sense. Not only it makes sense the monster itself, the way it's designed, the way it looks, the way he functions, the way he fights. Uh, but the environment around and how he interacts with other monsters and with the mo with the hunter, as I mentioned before, I do think this. Like I do really believe on this, like a hundred percent. The other thing is um, the gameplay. The gameplay is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, first of all, you have a lot of weapons you can choose from. Um, if you like ranged weapons, you have. There are uh, several different range weapons you can use. Uh, if you have, if you like heavy hitting weapons, you have several heavy hit hitting weapons that you can use. If you like fast paced weapons, you also have those. So, like, it curates the game, the gameplay, and the 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 playability of the game to not one, not two, but all of the like, let's say players in general right because at the end of the day there there are certain games that you like to play them because you know they have big weapons that hit hard and do big numbers or you have ranged weapons either it is a gun or either it is a bow or whatever it might be right um and then you just have yeah specifically long range weapons games based that I mean, if you like guns, for example, you're probably going to play a game that has guns, right? But in this case, specifically, what amazes me so much is that there is several different paths you can take, right? So there are several different niches that it, like, correlates to. As I mentioned, heavy hitting weapons, uh, fast-paced weapons, uh, ranged weapons. But not only that, it has also sub-niches to those weapons, and those are the weapons itself. Not the type of weapon, but the weapons itself, right? Because within the heavy weapons, do you like big swords? Well, just play with the fucking great sword. Uh, do you like hammers? Do you like gigantic, massive hammers? Okay, just play with the hammer on Monster Hunter World. Do you like uh, animes and katanas and samurais and all of that? Okay, perfect. 
You have a katana, which is the long sword. Just play with the long sword. Uh, do you like, I don't know, uh, gladiator type of shit? Okay, no worries. You have a sword and shield weapon or you have dual wield weapons. Bro, like at the end of the day, you have so much playability just because of the amount of different weapons that you have and the amount of different ways you can play the game. Because now, and I don't want to get too much into this, um, but besides the, the different types of weapons that you have, and besides the different weapons that you have within those different types of weapons or group of weapons, you also have different types of armor that you can use. You have within the armors different type of decorations that you can put like jewels that you can put in the armor that provide you extra skills or or different ways again that you can play the game and i think that's just it's not just how fun it is but it's just it goes down to how well the game is designed in general right um this brings us to another topic of why i think uh, Monster Hunter World became so popular, which is, and Monster Hunter, by the way, Monster Hunter series in general, not only Monster Hunter World, I'm speaking uh, more specifically about Monster Hunter World, because I already have pretty much 500 hours in this game, right? I'm doing a second playthrough the game, the entire game, again, because I do, I do think this game is amazing, and, and this is why I do think this game is amazing, and why it became so popular. But this also brings us to another special topic that I think um, it makes the game so good and popular. Which is, the game, even if you go through the whole story of Monster Hunter World, you can run it back. You can do it again. You have so much replayability within the game that you just... It, it feels like the game is endless. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like it never stops. You just keep playing and playing and playing, and you still have more things to do. Even if you go through the whole story. Like, legit, you have what it's called arch-tempered monsters. You have tempered monsters. You have another place uh, at, the end of, uh, at the end game, which is Guiding Lands, uh, where you have other monsters that you never found throughout the story, and where... Hold and behold, there's a new monster to discover. And it, like it's it's just such an amazing balanced game in general. Uh, that yeah, you, you can just, you know, play over and over again and it, it doesn't get tired. Because this time you can use like uh, let's say a long sword, because the other run you did a great sword. Now I'm gonna play long sword. Okay, so just play long sword. Now I wanna play a ranged weapon. Okay, let's go with a light bow gun. I like light bow guns. I, I don't think uh, since I play light weapons and fast paced weapons, probably the light bow gun is better for me. Okay, let's play light bow gun. Um, I've never played with a hammer. It's it's such a weird weapon. Let me try it out. You know, so you can just constantly keep playing the game, and you don't actually get bored because then again design great monsters great gameplay great several different weapons i can use uh, that make the game look like a diff completely different game and feel like a completely different game uh check like it's it's so good it's it's amazing it's amazing it's just i, I don't know again Another, another part of the main reason why I think Monster Hunter World became so popular. Um, you can play it solo. You can play it multiplayer. You can play it however you like it. It doesn't matter. There is one thing that I think annoys, and I, I think I can confidently say this. I think annoys every single player of the game. I'm going to be fair, which is you always have to see the cutscenes. Always. It doesn't matter if it's the first time, the second time, or the 50th, 50th time. That you're gonna watch the cutscene you'll have to watch the cutscene me personally i don't mind that that much uh but to be fair i only watch the cutscenes maybe twice or three times um uh, at this point but even so i think i would keep watching the cutscenes just because of how good they are they have so so many cutscenes but they are all so fucking good another thing that combines with this storyline lore how the monsters like work and function how the ecology works all of this is part of the let's say monster hunter lore in general not only monster hunter world but 
I think Monster Hunter World really touched that subject specifically. Uh, and by that subject, I mean like ecology and how everything works and functions with the monsters and, you know, the hunters itself. But I think it's a game where they try to focus a little bit more on the part of the monster lore and the, the world itself, um, right? Therefore, I think that connects with the title, right, of the game, the actual game, Monster Hunt World. But, like... Yeah, as I as I said, uh, another big thing of the of the game, story is good. Expansion part of the story connects really well with the with the base game story. The monsters itself and how they function and how they came to life and how they die and where do they die and and how all of the like ecology of the game works. Um, how is it all connected? Uh, how do you, as a hunter, right? fit in all this big world with all of these you know gigantic monsters in general uh what is your part in the ecology how how do you change or not change and and work with the whole environment around you you know um and yeah I, at the end of the day i think this just it just connects you know it just connects so perfectly that made monster hunter world be the game or be as popular as it is so in conclusion what i want to say about this and the main reason that i said i think it would surprise you but at the same time you would think okay this is this is so straightforward it, it, like it, it makes sense i don't know why i didn't thought about this but at the end of the day what makes monster hunter world so damn popular it's as simple as it's a damn good game. It's such a good game. And how is it this such a good game? Well, I just described everything. You just connect all of them. And as I said, they are all very well connected. Gameplay wise, game design, monster design, how the world functions, how you as a hunter interact with it, the replayability that you have, the lore behind all of the monsters, the lore behind all of the ecology, the lore of the actual game and series, everything combined, everything well placed, and like it's like a puzzle, you know? When you put all the pieces together, it just becomes such an amazing masterpiece. I can confidently say masterpiece. And that's pretty much it, you know? Make a good game, people will play it. There you go. This, all of these reasons, is why I think Monster Hunter Cook Worlds is such a popular game, and why I think it's such an amazing game. And why do I play it as well, constantly? And why I have 500 hours? Uh, I mean, 500 hours, some of you might be surprised with the amount of hours, but some of you I know will say, Haha, 500? Bro, you're a baby hunter, I have 1500. 500? You're a baby. Baby Monster Hunter, man. I have 3k hours. Bro, I'm serious. This game? Big W. Big W. And I'm so glad I have the opportunity to play this game. And I'm so glad the game also became as popular as it is. And I'm, I'm gonna, like, be honest with you. I have a big friend of mine, if you're part of the community, who, you know who it is, uh, it's Yondu. Uh, if you're not part of the community, you don't know, but um, I have a big friend of mine, like real life friend, um, one of my, my best friends, my best buddies. He's been telling me about Monster Hunter series and games in general for about like five, four to five years now. And I hadn't listened to him until last year and I'm, let me tell you something, I don't usually regret things in life, but I sure do regret not playing this game previously than, or starting, actually let me put it this way, starting playing this game earlier. Because it's, it's just such a good damn game, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's actually amazing. And um, yeah, if you've never played Monster Hunter World, I... I really suggest, like, it, you should, you should, it's a really good game. If you're looking for a new game and you're not particularly into this game or you've never heard of it, well, you know, 
if you're looking to a new play uh, a new game to play just try it out uh i don't know if it's still on sale on steam it it was at least like a few days back i don't know at the point of making this video if it still it is but um yeah nevertheless that's why i think monster hunter became so popular and um yeah if you guys agree let me know in the comments below why do you agree and if you do agree if you don't agree let me also know in the comments below why you don't agree and that you don't agree. I would actually love to hear uh, other people's opinion on this. I think the game is really fucking popular. Uh, I think most of the Monster Hunter community uh, didn't expect the game to be so popular. At least, or the series in general, uh, at least so soon um, as it is. But uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe... Maybe you guys expected expected that. I mean, I'm I'm part of the community of Monster Hunter community for about like I don't know, maybe a few months back. Uh, as I mentioned, I started playing this game last year, so yeah. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I would love to know it. And um, as usual, guys, peace.